In today's video, I am going to be talking about the worst experience I have ever had with the United States Postal Service. Yeah, baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking back. All right, how is it going today, my friends? As always, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. When it comes to being a worker of the post office, you have one job, deliver everybody's mail. Now, that's a very simple job. You go to every single house, you give all of the mail that you have to the mailbox. Once the mailbox gobbles up your mail, you then give them any packages that might happen to be going through the postal service. Now, sometimes a package is so important through the postal service that you have to sign for it. Now, what is the mail truck driver's job when he has to get a signature for a package to go to the person's store and get said signature. Okay, so I literally would not be making a video about this if the package that I didn't get three days in a row was just a pair of shoes. Could have been a pair of Yeezys and I wouldn't give a fuck. But no, my mom paid for overnight shipping to ship my birth certificate and social security card. Now, in case you didn't know, to take a driver's test in the state of Florida, you need your Florida birth certificate and your social security card present there at the DMV. Not just a picture it has to be there at the DMV now I leave for Florida on February 29th which is in two days and if I want to take my driver's test in the state of Florida I'm gonna need that birth certificate and social security card okay so the first day that I missed the signature or whatever I just thought okay I wasn't home to sign it whatever they'll bring it back again tomorrow will be good well tomorrow ends up coming it's around 3 p.m. I go back out to the mailbox again I was literally sitting in the house all day waiting for someone to knock at the door and then the mail is delivered once again with Without my mail. So that just got me thinking, why aren't they coming to the door and letting me sign for my birth certificate and social security card? These are two very important documentations of mine and say they were to get lost in the mail. Well, guess what? I gotta go get a new birth certificate and social security card and that's a pain in the fucking ass. And it costs money. Do you understand that my mom paid like $30 to overnight ship it from Florida to Colorado? She paid for it to get here the next day and it's fucking five days later. Did she pay for week shipping? No. Okay, so I get curious. I'm like, why? Why isn't she coming and letting me sign for my package? So I write out a little sticky note. It reads, please bring the mail that I have to sign for to the front door. I put it in the mailbox and then I go out to check the mail a few hours later. The mail was once again delivered and there's a sticky note over my sticky note. It read, you have you gates locked. Let me show you a picture of locked. Is that a lock with a combination or does that just look like a little latch holding the fence from being open? Now does that look like a lock designed to keep my mail from being delivered or does that look like a lock designed to say I don't know keep the dogs from opening the gate? Now the thing is I called two days before this had happened and said they didn't come up to my front door. I, I don't know why but they didn't come to my front door. Can you please tell whoever's driving the fucking car to come to the front door? And then two days later that happened. So I called again and I said, she left me a fucking note. Can you please call your driver and let her know that the lock isn't for her? Like when you come to a house three days in a row to get a signature for a package and all three of those days, there's a little lock on it, a little latch on the fence. And then there's a note in the mailbox saying, bring the fucking thing to my front door. And you still don't try to fucking take the latch off of the fence. What are you doing? Your job is to give me my package. If I have to sign for said package, bring it to the fucking front door so I can sign for the package. The mail hasn't been delivered yet today, but I put another sticky note in the mailbox saying, please bring my package to the front door. The lock on the gate is for the dogs, not you. If they actually manage to give me my package today, I'm still gonna write out a sticky note on Monday saying, daily reminder, you're a fucking idiot. Because guess what? UPS? FedEx, every other postal service driver in the fucking world, they go up to that fence and instead of seeing it as locked, they see it as protected. What do they do? They take the clip off, put it on the fence, and give me my package. You know, they do what they're supposed to do, like in their job description. If it was any other objects just waiting for me in the mail, I wouldn't care. But if these important documents get lost, it's a pain in the ass to replace them. And I literally told the guy several days ago, these are very important documents that I need immediately. Tell your 
fucking driver to come up to my door. But no, you know what they do? Instead of taking the time to open the fence, they take the time to write a sticky note back to me. I kid you not. The mailbox is right outside my fucking window. I was looking outside the window as much as possible just so that I could try to catch the mailman. Mail woman. Mail whore. I don't know who they are. All I know is it should not be this difficult for me to get my mail. That's all I'm saying. Now, in good news, I leave for Florida in two days and I'm gonna be there until March 14th. Now, instead of having to upload videos from Florida over the past few weeks, I have made 15 extra videos and they have all been uploaded and scheduled. So from February 29th to March 14th, on the weekends, my videos will be scheduled for 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then during the week for every single day that I'm gone, they will be going up at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Those are the normal times that I like to upload when I have videos ready at those times. So I just figured I scheduled them all for the same exact time so you guys could look forward to them when they come out. But yeah, I started making extra videos on like February 2nd or February 3rd. And while I was uploading each and every single day, I was also making extra videos, sometimes three in one day and then editing three in one day. It was a lot of work, but you know, I got it done. As excited as I am to go on vacation, I didn't want to go on vacation and miss like five or six upload days. You know, I wanted to go to Florida, relax, and then just not worry about my channel whatsoever. So, you know, having 15 extra videos up, you know, that helps a little bit. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the story at all, be sure to smash that like button to show your support. As you guys all know, I have a lot of good luck when it comes to like video games and stuff like that. But outside of video games in the real world, my luck is always so shit. So I tend to make videos talking about stuff when it happens to me and you guys really seem to enjoy them. So thank you for that. And as always, my friends, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day, a farewell, a goodbye, and a here comes the... I swear if my mail doesn't get delivered today, I'm gonna fucking... Woo!